Hey, what's up guys? Uh, glad you're back. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on displacement maps and kind of close out the series that we've been doing for creating your own t-shirt mock-ups. So this is the last step um, that I would do in the actual mock-up process, but there's a few videos out there that show you how to do this and most of them just kind of reiterate the same thing. This one I dive into displacements plus using another, another technique that I think will work really well that I haven't seen anyone else do. So if that's important to you, this video is for you. So I just want to make a note that this mock-up I created is free for everybody to download. I created it specifically for this and it's yours. So just go over to my website, follow the link below and you can download it and snag it. So let's go ahead and jump in here. This is the artwork. This is the result that we want to create. Okay, so let's do this from scratch. I'm going to go over to Illustrator and grab my artwork or wherever you're bringing it in from. Drop it in Photoshop, Command V to paste. As a smart object, especially if you're coming from Illustrator, you always want to retain the ability to edit this. Okay, so size it up and place it where you want it to be. I think that looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do from here is, this is the original file that I used to create the mockup. I'm just gonna duplicate this into a new document. Let's see here, there it is. Okay, name it displacement. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is desaturate this, Command Shift U. Uh, what we're really wanting to look at here is the light and dark values between the shadows and the highlights of the garment. Um, the better you can do that, the better result you're gonna get with your artwork. So I'm gonna come down here to my adjustment layers. I'm gonna throw a levels adjustment on it here and I'm gonna bump the, I'm gonna bump the light up quite a bit and then crush these blacks a little bit. I'm looking for something that's like that's good in contrast but not over overly done because we're actually gonna mess with that a little bit later on. So okay, that looks pretty decent. I'm gonna add a brightness adjustment here. I'm gonna bump the contrast up quite a bit on that. And then let me add a little curves adjustment here so I can maybe make the uh, whole garment look a little bit more uniform as far as the shadowing. Uh, there isn't a right or wrong way to do this, I feel like. It's just whatever gives you the best result, just do that. This is what I use because I get pretty consistent results with it. Okay, so that to me looks like pretty good. Most people would just throw a Gaussian blur on this, save it out, and then, you know, do the whole displacement map thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another brightness and contrast layer. I'm going to bump this thing like all the way up, just crank it so it's blown out. Click on the layer mask over here. Uh, make sure your foreground is set to black and then just alt delete and that way it's not going to show any of it but we're, what we're going to do is grab your brush tool and you can use your bracket keys to size it up or down um, hold shift bracket key and that'll change the hardness and softness of it i'm gonna draw my opacity to maybe like around 45 and what i'm going to do is set my foreground to white and then just kind of paint this back in I'm gonna paint in the areas that are showing me that they're white. And then looks like I got a little much there, so I'll remove that. I just changed my foreground to black and then painted that back out. Okay, so change it back to white. Okay, I'm gonna do that over here. And again, what we're doing is we're really wanting to exaggerate and kind of like, you know, show where the contrast is because that's how the artwork's going to understand this. It's going to pull from those light and dark values. Just get a little bit just over here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the shadows. So just add a brightness adjustment, bump it way down, then fill in the layer mask with black, grab your brush tool, change foreground to white again, yada yada. And now we're just gonna accentuate the black. I might drop this down just a little bit. Hockey ducky. It's looking pretty good. Also, I make weird sounds whenever I'm like working by myself, so. 
that's what that is. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and command S to save this. Just name a displacement. I'll just throw it on my desktop for now. Uh, command tilde or command tilde, however you say that, will cycle between documents, which is super helpful. Um, grab your artwork here. I'm just gonna name it artwork. Uh, if it's not a smart object, you need to convert it to a smart object by clicking on the layer over here. So go ahead and grab a filter, distort, displace. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Before we do that, let's go back over here to this document. Uh, grab the top layer, hold shift, click the bottom layer, and then just right click to convert to smart object. Tight. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I forgot to add <laughs> the Gaussian blur. Uh, so go ahead and add the blur. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now resave that. And then hop back over to your um, original document. So grab your artwork layer and now let's add the displacement map to it. Distort, displace, whatever it gives you here in the dialogue, um, just try it out. Uh, I mean, you can, chances are you're gonna have to change it anyways, but go ahead and roll with what it gives you at first. Grab your displacement map, accept, and now it's warped according to those values that we created. So this to me looks much better than what you've seen with some of the other tutorials with the mock-ups and the t-shirts. I think it looks a little, little bit more realistic. Um, keep in mind, it's, I, I just feel like this tool isn't gonna give you 100% realism. So if that's what you're going for, it's not gonna happen. But if you want it to look more realistic than just throwing your artwork on a shirt, this is gonna be the way to go. So for me, it's worth doing the extra little bit of hassle once I have my mock-up set up. Cause now all I have to do is just replace the artwork and then just, you know, drag and drop my uh, smart filter onto the new artwork and it's gonna go ahead and apply that filter for me. So it's pretty cool. So that is it, you know what to do. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, like and subscribe to the video if you dig it. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too. Just let me know why. Reach out to me on Instagram or social media, guys. Like, If you let me know you came from here, I'll probably just give you a follow back. Uh, it'd be cool to say hey, say what's up. Uh, I'm totally into that. So until next time, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching. Sorry.